Alright guys, so today I'm going to be going from Noob T Pro with the Kai Goku Bloodline, which is the Kaguya Bloodline in Chindo Live. So yeah guys, get straight into the video. Alright guys, you can see here we are on the Chindo Live menu. Now if I go to the edit menu real quick, you can see that here is my Kaguya. The face ID is a little bit messed up. There's two eyes, which they shouldn't be. This set of eyes shouldn't be there. But we're going for this no matter what. So yeah, let's quickly check the Bloodline. So here is the Bloodline that we're going to be rocking, which is just the Kai, Kai Gaku or the, I think it's Kai Goku. I don't know. I don't know what it is. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Called Kai Goku Platinum. So yeah, this is a one out of five hundred rarity bloodline. It's super super rare. It's been out for quite a while, but yeah, I decided to make this new to pro because I think I just it'll be fun to use. I wish we would test it out because I've never actually managed to test it out before. So let's jump into Ember quickly and let's quickly rank up. Alright, guys, here we are. So let's check the money. Okay, we have enough money and we have five hundred spins. So yeah, tomorrow for the update we'll be able to spin because tomorrow is the update. But, yeah, here's the Hokage Mansion right there. We're gonna go quickly rank up. Oh yeah, I forgot I can just teleport. Oh, I messed up my teleportation move. Alright, here we are. So we just got here uh can i make this jump that's the question yes we can and yeah we're going to be i don't even know what's after v what's after v no idea x1 okay i'm going to be x1 holy x1's insane you know what i'll take that all right accept option one there we go and now we can officially start the snip to pro so let's check okay okay so it's pretty expensive it's not the same as every other normal one normally it's 500k a million a million but this is so like expensive holy so we're going to be seeing if, we, if this is actually any good or not because i've never actually used it i'm actually proud of the kagiya outfit i went for but yeah let's quickly equip the mode wait when do we equip them 1000 you got to be joking all right we're gonna get free to level like 300 guys and yeah i'm gonna be right back because it's gonna take us a while actually grind up so i'm gonna actually try grab the first move i'm gonna sit in the logs till i get the first move because yeah i think uh, at least showcasing one move doing a bit of quests is a lot better i think i'll be right back all right guys so i managed to reach the level 200 mark so we're gonna have to start the first move i'm only going to be doing uh like two um two what's it called green school quests normally do around four three but yeah we only have one move so there's nothing much to showcase so we're gonna be checking out that one move just that one move all right so we're gonna be putting 1000 here into chi 1000 to nin and 615 into jutsu or hp actually in mind so yeah let's quickly go buy that move okay equip the first move let's equip it it should be busted like i'm expecting to be extremely busted this is the first green scroll quest here so where's it gonna be okay they're pretty far so let's make our way there you know what we do have this which is gonna basically teleport us so far look what you know, that game is so so much distance so i love this like kunai so much now we're super close to them i'll actually want to test it out let me see what you actually okay ashborn portal barrage okay that looks kind of yo okay that sounds disgustingly good teleport there okay we're already here you know what let's go yo it stuns all of them too what is this what's, what's it do i'm so confused does it like paralyze them yo that actually looks insane i can't lie that looks busted as hell let me charge up my chi let's use that one more time because yo that is that actually looks really busted i can't wait to actually check out the mode let me use that again oh my god let me m1 oh i can't really m1 without the mod or anything i'm i'm such a big disadvantage uh let's wait for my move to recharge one more time and we should be able to hit that uh, here we are one more time m1 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 there we go so yeah that was actually pretty pretty easy uh let's actually do one more green skull mission because yeah that move actually is really really good i did not think it'd be that good i feel like if you combo with something else it'll be amazing but i don't really know what to combo with yet so let me in the comments down below guys what would you combo this mod with i have no idea yet but hopefully i get some more of an idea very soon but let's just teleport up here and go get a green skull quest all right next green skull quest here we are all right please don't be too far okay rogue hades assassins oh they're in the same spot aren't they oh they just have to be in the same spot the furthest spot away from me uh, we're gonna rock them though we should be good let me use this teleport now where are they oh they're not here never mind okay, so it's teleported on them all right three people oh, oh if we connects to one person he actually does so much more damage but he can hit everyone which is quite nice like i can hit multiple opponents with it if i want to and i can aim only at one person if i want to so yeah that's actually pretty pretty chill you know what let me combo this up kunai up oh i didn't have enough chi oh my god uh combo up with the up tilt boom there we go look at it doing so much damage holy but yeah guys that's gonna be it i'm gonna quickly go level up real quick to max level you get this bloodline to max showcase this whole bloodline because i have a feeling this bloodline is not gonna be like a null bloodline this is gonna be an op as hell bloodline so yeah guys i'm gonna be backing around like one second for you guys all right guys here we are so i've completed every single thing we do need for today's episode guys so we're gonna be jumping into the blaze village go find the you know, slug so i can showcase every single move in the bloodline and the mode also and also gonna be showcasing you a combo that i figured out with this bloodline with all the tie jutsu moves or some abilities so yeah just jump straight into it okay, guys here we are as you can see so i've got the kaguya bloodline right here we're going to be modding up showcasing the mode first of all and here is the mode it looks really really nice i do like it how it's like it just looks amazing i can't lie 
But here we are guys, here's the normal M1, so yeah, it's just like really nice M1s, it has a bit of range to them too, so you can range people out with M1s before they can get to you, unless they have like a bigger range M1s, but these M1s are actually really, really nice, you can see, here's the Q-Spec guys with the small, so the Q-Spec, you summon like the Tentails, or I don't even know what this is, I forgot what this is in the anime, I think it's her maybe, or her actual form, but if you do M1s, you summon like massive tail beast bombs, which look really really good as you can see, uh, she has no special up tail, I'm pretty sure, she has no up till the up till is basically the exact same uh here's the e-spec guys uh oh i actually forgot there's no e-spec for this mode which is quite an l but yeah so here is the c-spec the c-spec is really really good look at it it does so much damage and then you can combo them they get like i think it's like a mini stun where they get stunned per hit and then you can just combo them so they don't get stunned for like a long while but it gives you enough time to actually combo up with like one of these moves or whatever you can combo up with one of these moves to like do more damage but yeah here's the first move the mode guys so here's the first move you, you shoot a lot of like these are the play portals and stuff which are quite quite nice here's the second move uh, of this mode so you have to press it and it brings well, the person towards you and then you just attack them and then you can even combo it up if you want to here's the final move of this mod guys so you use it and it just attacks many many times and it's, i think it's close range actually uh yeah i don't even know how that move really works but it's really really good so yeah guys basically that's basically it for the whole mode i'm going to be showing you now a quick combo that you can do with this mode so you want to first start off with what well, you want to fight someone with the q spec you know, jump in with the q spec and use this more moves just do as much because it's basically spammable you can just spam it and then here you want to use this move the oh i missed it bro okay so after you hit that move you want to use like a move like this straight into the first move stunt them a little bit straight into the third move you're gonna use the third move you want to attack them like this as you can see and then you want to go shoot quickly to the c spec okay c spec like that uh, i ran out of chi but uh yeah that's basically that's basically the whole combo it's a pretty decent combo i'd say the problem is i can't really make the like the best of combos because it's like i can't really make the best of combos due to me like i'm only using one bloodline because i'm not allowed to use any other bloodline but if you can't combo with different bloodlines it'll actually be a very very good combo but yeah so i do my favorite move in this mode probably has to be the q spec the q spec is so good and it's just spammable like it's insane and oh okay so uh yeah as you can see uh it's just bummable as hell like it's super quick and them ones are pretty nice too but that's basically it for this bloodline it doesn't have anything else uh it's it's really good it does have actually one more thing which i forgot to mention if you press c2 uh, you can actually change dimensions but i don't have the drop so yeah you can switch to a love dimension uh you can switch to a sun dimension and also you can switch well, let me check into an ice dimension i think that's basically it is, is there c5 uh, okay yeah that's basically it. so there's nothing else but yeah oh, oh yeah i also forgot one thing to mention is that this character can actually fly to this mode can fly which makes sense it is the almighty kaguya but yeah guys that's gonna be for today's video i hope you enjoyed it make sure you smash like subscribe button let me know in the comments down below guys what other button i should use because i pretty much run out of any bloodlines that I can use i basically used all my bloodlines but yeah guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i guess i'll catch you all next time peace out